6.5 kilograms. This is a very short hill, 200 meters long, around 5 to 7 percent gradient. So I'm gonna cycle up the climb eight times from 0 kg all the way up to 7.5 kg of weight. This will be 7.5 kilograms. So the question is, for such a short climb, will we even see a significant difference or will all the runs be within the margin of error? For consistency, I'm using the Favero SEOMA dual saddle power meter to try to keep the power exactly the same. And I'm also going to start all the runs at from a standstill. And I'm also going to wear running shoes to prevent wasting time clipping into the pedals. The initial weight, uh, without anything in my bag. What does it say? 65.7 I think 73.4 This is about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7.5 kg This is as heavy as my bike also Today we're gonna do a little experiment on how much weight affects climbing speed So now I have nothing in my bag And uh Oh no my chain dropped So this will be the first run and uh Go. Okay, so this is 500 ml. Alright, 3, 2, 1. This will be 1.5 kilograms. 2, 1, go. So this will be 2.5 kilograms. I did exactly the same power just now. Okay, beep, beep, beep. This will be 3.5 kilograms. Okay, so uh, this is 4.5 kilograms. One, two, three, four. Now this is 5.5 .5 liters. Six point five kilograms. This will be seven point five kilograms. So that's all the weight we brought today. Oh yeah. Oh significantly faster. Anyway, let's go home. Okay, now for the results. Actually, just as I predicted, all the runs are the same within the margin of error. The power was quite consistent, around 222 to 228 watts for all the runs. Interestingly, the 500 gram and the 6.5 kg test was done exactly at 226 watts, and the 6.5 kg test was 3 seconds slower. 3 seconds is a lot for a 1 minute climb, but it also could be within the margin of error. Like for example, if I press the stop button too late. Also, the 7.5 kg test and the 0 kg test was exactly at 228 watts. The 7.5 kg test was 6 seconds slower. So, I guess that's the only real significant result. 6 seconds for 7.5 kg roughly equates to 1 second slower for every kilogram. But then, the 3.5 kg test was also done exactly at 228 watts and I got the same exact time as the 7.5 kg test so weight definitely played a part but for such a short hill it's not very significant so I can't conclude anything from this test even when carrying 7.5 kg of weight but weight is definitely still a huge factor especially during longer climbs maybe next time I find a longer climb and um, repeat the experiment again see you in the next video goodbye